Oh, God. All right. <laughs> this is my typical mentality. It was like, fuck everything. I'm going to do it anyway. Which I just got done with, and I'm covered in shit and sand and dirt and mud and grease and whatever. But fuck it. I got it done anyway. And it has a lot to do with what this video is going to be about. Is um, That's been my mentality my whole life, is like, get shit done, fuck it, do it anyway. Help other people out, you know, be a contributing member of society, get it done, get it done, get it done. You need help, I'm here to help you. Blah, 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 blah. But at some at some point, you just you're exhausted from that. It's like I, I, dude, I barely have the energy to take care of myself, much less eight hundred other people. And you just yeah yeah you reach a point where it's like all right I can't. You know, my young body in my 20s and probably had the energy for it. But now I'm like, I, dude, and especially having COVID and long COVID, I, I don't, I, I can't do that anymore. Like it takes everything I have to wake up and wipe my fucking butt and take a shower. Much less take care of your motherfucking problems. Now, where this gets annoying to me is that these people are still leaning on me. And I can't do it. I, I, like you, I, I'm sorry, I'm not your crutch anymore. It is what it is. And that uh, you know it's a it's a it's a mixed bag of feelings because it's like I do want to help these people, but they're not being understanding of the fact that I've been sick and have problems. They they don't get it. It's like I look look I'm not the guy I was ten years ago that was like go 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 go. I, like I need downtime. I need to relax. I need to sleep. I need to just oof, let go of some of this stuff. But then, you know, that's how clients are. They're like, well, why aren't you helping me? Oh, motherfucker, maybe I'm busy. You know, I, and I don't even have that many responsibilities, to be honest. I don't have a wife. I don't have a kid. I don't have any of that. I got pets. But I don't have that much, honestly. But still, like, you got to understand that other people have a schedule. You don't go to, or you don't call a doctor's office and say, I'm going to be there at 9 a.m. on Tuesday. No, you schedule with them and you fucking work accordingly. So I don't know. I guess I'm just getting very frustrated with people that are expecting me all the time to be there for them without realizing that hey, he might have a life, be tired, want to go to the park, like, maybe go out to dinner, like, he might be wanting to do some of that stuff. I just, I'm just sick of it, man. Yeah, I don't know, you can call it codependency. To me, it wasn't. I, I don't believe that. 
to me, it was I'm a people person and I'm highly empathetic. So if somebody's going through a hard time, I do everything I can to help them. But when they start to lean on you too hard and ride your coattails too hard, you're like, all right, now I'm fucking drowning. And I'm not trying to sit here and drown with you. Like, f fuck off. I'll go swim by my own. And I know I didn't word this video very well, spur of the moment, but I encourage you to, to, to think about that, you know, where, where, are you giving too much? And that's an intriguing question in of itself, because a lot of people think they're giving too much when they're really not giving at all. And then some people are indeed giving way too much. And they should stop or reduce, mitigate their losses. So, you know, that's up to your discretion. But, yeah, I mean, I've, I've heard people sit here and bitch and moan about the same song. And they don't do a goddamn thing for anybody. So, I'm like, oh, what are you talking about, motherfucker? Like, a lot of us are out here breaking our ass every goddamn day, all day to help people and you help somebody like go to the store or something and you're bitching about it. <laughs> Those are rookie numbers. Child's play. But yeah, I don't know.